So those who have been following the show for years have been asking me to do some exotics on the channel, and today is definitely your lucky day. I picked up some elk from Wild Fork. Again, I got to tell you, 20 off 100 wildfork.com or Wild Fork in store. If you want a hard copy, just email me. My email is right down in the description. And on today's show, I've got some elk medallions. I've got a steak searer that gets up to almost 1400 degrees. We are gonna put the two together and see what happens. So guys, this is the Luma Electric Steak Grill. It is a portable indoor countertop oven with griddle. We are talking smokeless electric infrared grill. It is gonna heat up to 1450 degrees. You can barbecue, grill, toast, broil. We are talking chicken, beef, pork, and veggies. And most important to me, they say you can cook a steak in minutes. In today's show, we are gonna put that to test. Basically, like I said in the opening, I've got some elk medallion that are three, four ounces a piece. And the first thing we are gonna wanna do is get them unpackaged, get them on the board, cause we are gonna wanna dry each piece off. And as I'm drying them off, I can't help but think the texture is a lot like a, uh, let's say a filet mignon meets a liver. It is more pure in color. And we are gonna season this up. Of course, I am gonna keep this just as close as a steak as I can. And that is gonna be some kosher salt and 16 mesh black pepper. We are gonna wanna make sure we get enough of the two on. We will flip them over because we definitely wanna do both sides and don't forget those edges. And once we get them all salt and peppered up, it is time to turn our attention over to the Luma and get that fired up. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is there is a tray on the bottom of the unit. Make sure you get a little bit of water in that. Around the back, turn the switch on. Over to the front, a couple presses of the button and you are warming up to 1350 degrees. That is also adjustable. Underneath that, you will see a timer. I am just gonna leave it at that 10 minutes. And also, I will get my little griddle rack inside the oven so we could preheat that up so when that steak hits, it is gonna start cooking immediately. Once you have reached the proper temperature, get that steak in. So look, it will not take long. And as you can see, that steak is shrinking down. That means it is heating up and cooking good. We will allow that to sit only for about a minute or so. This is the first time I'm using using this oven, so it is guesswork for me. After about a minute or so, we will gently pull the, uh, pull the tray out, flip the steaks, and as you can see, we have some grill marks, and that gets me a little bit excited. We will get these steaks back in. And so after about another a minute or so, we will get these steaks pulled off. I will get a temp reading on them, and they look pretty good to me. And as I pull it further out, I am definitely digging the color. We have built a nice little crust. And obviously the smell here outside is through the roof. We will get this first round of steaks off. We will get them onto the board and then we will load up for round two. So I am definitely feeling a lot more comfortable with the oven and it is easy to use. There is no doubt about it. And round two is gonna see my thicker steaks. And I can tell you now, other than the first round of steaks, we are definitely heated up and cooking now. I will get those steaks in. And again, I am gonna leave them for about a minute or so. We are upwards of a 1300 degrees. And of course, I am talking about infrared. And as we peek inside the oven, I definitely like what I see, man. I am pretty close to that heat source. We will let them go for about a minute, minute and a half. These are a little bit thicker then i will pull those out take a look and i am definitely digging what i am seeing we will give them a little bit of a flip over get them back in the oven to finish them off about another minute and a half i am talking under three minutes for these steaks we will pull those out give a look and again i like what i see we are building quite the crust which as you know crust equals flavor so we will work to get these steaks off to get them on the board but we have to take a quick moment to just admire what we've worked so hard to get or should I say what we worked not so hard to get because these steaks here look absolutely gorgeous let's get them down to the board we will let them sit for maybe about a minute or two I will bring you guys back we will slice them open do that taste test talk about it and close out the show 
So as I get ready to slice these open, I am taken aback by the texture. I mean, they are soft in texture and definitely have a nice crust on them. And as we begin to slice them open, I could tell you I nailed the temp of that rare to medium rare. And these definitely look absolutely incredible. And look at the juice, man. These have some juice in them, that is for sure. I would venture to guess a little bit more juice than say you would get in a Flamin' Young. Remember, these are very, very lean. And also the smell is absolutely incredible. We will just admire what we've got here. We will continue to slice a couple open. And again, look at the juice, man. I am gently pressing and moving it with my knife. And that is just a, uh, well, that there is just a juice explosion. So guys, what I wanna do here is let's finish cutting these up. Then we will turn our attention, take this in live and do that taste test. All right, guys, so look, first off, right off the bat, the, the electronic steak by Luma was a total 10. It got up to that 1340. I don't know what you can see. I've got to still go in and edit it, but it is 70 degrees out here. And I did want to get that, uh, get that cook off outside. I had somebody over here cutting, uh, blowing leaves or cutting, so I couldn't film it in the shack. So it was the deck where it was. And I can tell you again, 10 out of 10, man, not bad for the first time, would you say? I would think we held that, uh, we held that medium rare, which is what I like to be at. And I've already tasted the elk and I could tell you, man, it is, uh, first off, it's not gamey at all. It is a tremendously beefy and just a slight different than, uh, than, than regular, uh, regular beef. I would say it's more like a, uh, well, this here is more like a filet mignon. I mean, this tastes uh, very similar to filet mignon yet add about 10 times on the beef flavor and that is going to be your elk here and again i gotta stress it is not gamey at all so look you can pick up this uh you can pick up this elk or other exotics like this right from wild fork fossil farms is uh just uh just started uh putting their product in wild fork and you could pick up some exotics like kangaroo elk and a few other ones that are slipping my mind right now. And again, don't forget the 20 off 100. Get some brisket, get some beef ribs, dinos, you know the deal, and pick up a little elk along with it. And I can tell you, you will definitely, uh, definitely dig the flavor right here. Again, that Luma electronic steak oven. I mean, you can do burgers, chicken. There is a lot of other things I do believe you can do in it, but for steak, it is gonna excel. And I will have a code down in the description if that's something you wanna check out. I do believe it is 10% off. Let's get that quick taste test out of the way. And again, man, super, super tender. Mm. Oh, that is freaking good, man. So look, if you guys wanna see me do a little bit more exotic cooking here on the channel, leave it down in the description. I will see what Wild Fork has and grab something for you guys. Cause like I mentioned, I love trying out new things. And this is uh, again, very similar to beef, but new enough for me, that is for sure. So look, man, that is gonna close out this show with a little exotic twist here at the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. I appreciate you all for watching. And until next time, we will see you soon.